third police shooting that JSO officer Richard Santoro has been involved in. News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott has been looking into where other police shooting investigations stand and why some of them are still unresolved after years. Police shootings draw a lot of attention. Investigators from JSO and the state attorney's office are immediately on the scene to collect evidence and find out just how it went down and if proper procedures were followed. Those investigations used to be very open. The response to resistant board hearings were public, but were closed by the court. Now we can only rely on reports from the state attorney's office and JSO to tell us the outcome. Records from JSO show there are a number of cases still pending going back to 2016. 19 shootings are still being reviewed by the state attorney's office. Of that, 15 involved a situation where someone has been shot by an officer. Four cases are where an officer fired his gun but missed the target. Here's an example of one of the cases under investigation. In 2017, 57-year-old Selwyn Hall was shot and killed by Officer Ryan McKee. McGee and others were called to Hall's house by his wife, who said Hall assaulted her. Reports show that Hall resisted arrest and grabbed the taser of one of the officers. That's when he was shot and killed by McGee. Since then, the state attorney's office has been reviewing this case, along with 18 others, to determine if the shootings are justifiable. We've been looking at the state attorney's procedure for investigating police-involved shootings. The guidelines make it clear they don't represent law enforcement officers involved. The office responds to the scene of the shooting to begin their investigation. If someone is killed, they must notify the family within three days. If another crime has been committed, their investigation into the shooting is separate. In the course of their investigation, they can't offer immunity for testimony to the officers involved. They have 45 days once all the materials and evidence are in place to issue a draft report. But the final word and outcome in any charges will come from the state attorney. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.